barbershop conversation guys feel free to hit the subscribe button so i heard 78 say something this morning and I, i've been and I, I i was thinking about it throughout my workout this morning and um he said he said that uh he's not gonna go hard on adrian broner and uh tank davis and, and you know what i agree with that you understand what i'm saying i you know i've been hard on adrian broner and the reason why I say that is because the Tyson Fury story. You know, I admire Tyson. I have the utmost respect for Tyson Fury. I have the utmost respect for Tyson Fury. You know, him coming back, losing 140 pounds, overwhelmed, overcoming mental illnesses, drug and alcohol, et cetera, et cetera. Right? And I have to hold myself accountable when I say this when I'm speaking to you as well. You know, to a certain degree, I gave him a pass as well. You know, like, oh, it's a great story. Blah, blah, blah. Now, when and if Adrian Broner beats Manny Pacquiao, is wouldn't that be one of the greatest stories in boxing? <laughs> right? 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 He's not a nigga. He's not a thug. You understand what I'm saying? So, I know he does some ignorance, but I'm just using Adrian Broner as an example. You can slip anybody in. You know what I mean? Um, I'll be it. But if Tyson Fury is a great story, overcoming things to become great, then the Adrian Broner story. Then the Tank Davis story is an amazing story. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's getting out of hand now. You understand? In my humble opinion, it's getting out of hand. And I thought about something too. I'm going to start blocking motherfuckers on my channel. The reason why I want to start because they don't deserve me. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy to them. And I don't want them. And I don't want them receiving all this intellect and all this experience that I got. I'm going to start blocking motherfuckers, man. I, I am. I'm just going to start blocking them and just give it to the people that deserve it. And, and you know why I know uh, numbers don't count on YouTube? I got 26,000 subs. I told you guys. I couldn't even walk in fucking Staples Arena Saturday night. Every five to ten minutes, someone coming, hey, barbershop. So I don't give a fuck about what the numbers say. I don't care. I told you, I'm, I'm going I'm to do a video. 70% of the people that watch my videos are unsubscribed to my channel. 70% of the videos, 70% of the people that watch my videos are unsubscribed to my channel. Only 30% of my subscribers watch my channel. So I can give a fuck, man. I can give a flying fuck. And, and, and I say this. If we can give Tyson Fury all this credit in the world, and he drew, we can give uh, Tank Davis all the credit for what he had to go through in his childhood. If Adrian Broner defeats Manny Pacquiao, we got to give him all the credit in the world. Shit, if Marcus Brown, he not no conviction. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. He has a, if Marcus Brown goes and beats Badu Jack, he deserves all the credit in the world for all he's been through. You understand? We can go down the list. The Floyd Mayweather, we can go down the list. You understand the Shane Mosley's, you know? Adversity. Period. Over if a black man over is in adversity, oh he's a nigga, he's a thug, he's this, he's that. If a white man does it, Oh, he's amazing. He's this, he's that. And I, too, must hold myself accountable to this. You understand? I admire, like I said, I have the utmost respect for Tyson Fury and what, and him promoting this fight and helping Deontay Wilder make his money and helping Tyson Fury make his money. You understand? And um, this is, I mean, you know, thinking about people now talking about Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury didn't make the count. You can't get up at nine and a half and then and it be ten. You got to stop counting to help him get up. I don't care what nobody say. You understand what I'm saying? So, anyways, man, I just uh, it is what it is, man. <coughs> man, so man, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Being black in America is. Mm. Anywho, shout out to My Skin Is My Sin. Shout out to you. I got your shirt. I just picked it up. Thank you, man. I, I truly appreciate it. I wish I would have had it this weekend. I would definitely wore it. Um, you know, so. Anyways, man. So I'm going to start blocking all my haters. And this is my last shot to my haters. This is my last shot. I just want to I just wanna piss. All my natural subscribers, don't mind this. All right, don't mind me. I just want to shout out to my subscribers. You see that building over there, haters? All my haters, you see this building over here, haters? <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna tell you what it's worth, but I'm in LA. If you know the LA market, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All my haters, I'm, I'm gonna start blocking them. I'm, I'm gonna block them. You know why? I got validation this weekend. I don't give a fuck about my sub count. I don't give a fuck. But more importantly, I want my voice to reach the people that it should reach. You understand what I'm saying? I want the. I, I don't give. A, I don't want my haters. To digest my wisdom I don't want them I, I don't want them to I, I really really don't so from this point forward I'm changing I'm changing my uh, I'm changing my uh, my mantra I'm changing my constitution I'm blocking y'all motherfuckers I'm blocking y'all I don't I don't want to deal with that I don't and, and, and another reason I don't want my subscribers to have to deal with y'all y'all shouldn't have to comment to them they don't mean anything so i'm blocking y'all from this point on i'm blocking all y'all motherfuckers barbershop conversations feel free hit the subscribe button talk to y'all soon i'll holla peace